Hello, and uh, welcome to my Quest 2 UI navigation video. Um, last one I did was kind of, um, to say the least, bad. So I wouldn't be doing, redoing this real quick. Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and start recording. As you can see, my recording should start right now. And uh, yeah, we'll get to start through it. You know, normally this is where you start because I took my headset on uh, for the first time today. And as you see, you start in your home. This is where you, you could see all, you can explore your, your games and stuff. Uh, you can play all your games that you've already installed. Um, you know these games are recommended for you. Then you have all the information, all the like the updates and stuff that came from you know your apps like add-ons or you know funny game or whatever. Then you have entertainment that that comes in the form of Oculus TV. Um, yeah, <laughs> friends activity uh, is pretty straightforward. It's you know all your friends, what they're doing, what scores they send you, high schools and everything, uh, people you may know and everything like that. Uh, then you have saved stuff, you know, wish listed apps, um, saved videos on Oculus TV and everything else. Now, here is the universal menu. This is what it's called down here. So the universal menu. And then um, on the left here you have your time. If you hover over it or click on it, it says Sunday, March 24, 21, or whatever time it is for you. That's, that's what I'm recording it for me. It's uh, 7.46 p.m. also. And then here you have your two control statuses. As you can see, one of them is at 90%, one of them is at 100%. And then you can see your headset status by either just hold, hold, hovering over it or clicking on it. And then you can see, you know, the little small bar here. And you can see exactly when. So mine's at 12% because I've used it all day and didn't get a chance to charge it. Then you can see the name of your Wi Fi network and, you know, your, your Wi Fi little bar here. Here you have your account. You can click on it to see Oculus profile. Here you have your store where you can see all the stuff you can you can buy everything on the Oculus Store itself. Uh, here you have your apps where you can see all your apps. You can open up your home store browser, events, and TV. You can go through here, look at all your installed Oculus apps. If you have a side quest installed with the developer uh, add-ons and everything, you could do unknown sources to find all your unknown sources. So you can see I have 15 there, but I'm not going to show that. Um, then you have all your apps and everything that you have from the Oculus Store and everything. Uh, then you have people. These are going to be your social contacts. It's sometimes, you know, you can use your messenger or you can use your Oculus profile. So as you can see here, you can have your, you know, your Oculus friends, um, your, your Facebook friends, or you can talk to your Oculus friends. Then you have your notifications, where you can see all your notifications from each uh, type of app, store, everything. Then you have your sharing tab, where you can see all the recent videos and stuff. You can record, take photos, go live on our Facebook and cast. Then you have your settings, where you can see... Your quick actions, device, guardian, storage, notifications, applications, virtual environment, experiment, uh, experimental features, and developer. I'm pretty sure developer in this may not uh, be in, you know, in everybody's version if you don't have the developer mode enabled. Um, if you want to tutorial on that, please let me know, um, you know, so you get access to, like, all this stuff and everything and, you know, all the developer features. And then this is where you get all your, uh, your bounce. You could try if you didn't get a, a, a software update, it may be here. And yeah, that's about all it. It's all you need to know to explore the Oculus environment, of course. All here, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.